I grew up as a Jew and was raised in the synagogue. We lived in a mixed neighborhood of Jews and Christians with two synagogues and lots of churches. I liked the churches, actually, for I wasn't a typical Jewish kid. Every December we celebrated Hanukkah, but being a non-typical Jewish kid, I preferred Christmas. Christmas to me as a child was about a person who was born to save the world. Well, Hanukkah was about some Hebrew soldiers going around to save Israel. Christmas seemed more relevant. Better that the world be saved. Take the songs, for instance. Christmas songs back then were religious and deep. While Hanukkah songs were, well, you decide. <laughs> I hated this song as a kid. I preferred Little Drummer Boy. Come, they told me, pa rum pum pum pum. A newborn king to see, pa rum pum pum pum. It stirred me to want to do something. I was only six, but wanted to change the world too. Then the movie Ben Hur came out when I was nine. I would never be the same. Wait! No water for him. You never saw Jesus during the movie, just his back, but that was enough for me to want to embrace his power. This was not to be either, for when I asked my dad why we don't learn about Jesus, he said, you were born a Jew, you will die a Jew, forget it. He was a Jew without Jesus, and so was I, just like my parents, and just like everyone in synagogue. So I did forget it, until my rabbi spit. I was visiting my grandmother in the hospital. As I walked in, the rabbi was walking out. So I asked him, why can't we learn about Jesus if he's the Messiah or not? Suddenly he spit on the floor and said, don't you ever use that word again unless you use it as a curse word. I was shocked, turned off too. Pretty crass to spit on the hospital floor. Maybe that's why when I read in the Gospels a few years later that when Jesus spit on the eyes of a blind man and was healed, I felt freed from the rabbi's spit. Isn't it amazing that an insignificant thing like spit can make such an imprint on one's soul, whether for good or not so good? 
Well, the rabbis spit on Jesus too, you know. Jews without Jesus is a bad way to go. I could not follow their lead.